All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to more of the Elder Scrolls Online Deadlands, Episode 2. Hope you guys are enjoying everything so far. If you missed Episode 1, check the link in the description. There's a playlist. Everything is all organized in order, so you can watch it at your own time. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it What so did you find, little mortal? Tell me what you found, and I shall determine if it has any significance to my quest, or to yours. Hmm... Nor can I. And while your literacy may be in question, mine certainly is not. This is no language, mortal or Daedric. It is written in code, one used by the Dagonists for their more guarded correspondence. No, and neither could any lowly recruit we captured off the streets and tortured for information. This code is reserved for the Order's elite. We'll need to find someone who can decipher it. I'm sure Fargrave must have someone with those skills. We should leave. The cult's forces may have scattered, but no doubt Sister Seldina will send a force to try to deal with us. We should not be here when they arrive. Perhaps the Anchorite can suggest a place for us to meet up, safe from prying eyes. What I seek still eludes my grasp, so our business is not yet concluded. You ought to be grateful. I can be a powerful ally, when the mood strikes me. I will meet you back in Fargrave. I'm sure the Anchorite knows someone who can decipher the code. Let's meet at the inn in Fargrave. Bearers rest. We can talk privately there. Okay. Kind of want to discover these a little bit. We'll just do a quick run through, see if we, what we can get. If we miss anything, we'll get on the side or on the way back after we complete the story. Oh, turns out easy enough. screens but yeah I'm trying to upload these videos as fast as possible so you guys can enjoy them and uh, yeah so far it has a little bit of a connection to the last thing the whole Blackwood storyline oh well I'll see you guys in a minute or actually hold on Hide that real quick. This is what happens when you play day one and everyone's literally trying to do the same thing as I am.
Oh my god, dude. The thing like ate my teleport and charges me full price now. What a fun game. <sighs> it's fine. Let's ride. So you really came all this way to stop the waking? I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. Finding the leader of the cult, watching as she almost completed a deadly ritual, and then allowing her to escape. I never fail like that. And all we have for our trouble is a coded message. Maybe? This is Good far point. Grave, after all. The city connects to everywhere. Madam Wim must know someone here who can help us with that. In the meantime, we made a deal, and I always honor my commitments. Here. You earned this, my friend. Little mortal, attend me. Sticker book. We have unfinished business, mortal. The encoded message you recovered from the bathhouse. That may be the key to determining the waking flame's next move and revealing the secrets I'm searching for. We must find someone who can decipher it. The masked mortal has the right idea. Fargrave sits on the threshold to everywhere. If there exists a being who can decipher this code, we will find them here. I'd prefer it if we could find someone other than Madame Wim to deal with, however. I have heard of the infamous Mazken who calls herself Madame Wim. I find her practice of turning gossip into profit to be loathsome. But even a filthy daydrat has its uses, I suppose. Take the note to her and pay whatever it costs for a translation. Go to Madame Wim's establishment, the House of Wim. Lady, you're right Show there. Her the you do it. the note and tell her we need it deciphered. I will meet you there to make sure we have her undivided attention and that she understands this is more than a mortal's request. We know of each other. Perhaps our paths have crossed over the millennia. Perhaps not. Wim has changed her name and appearance multiple times, or so I've heard. I have no doubt she will do so again. When Fargrave no longer amuses her. Sister Seldina possesses the knowledge to create a device called a Cataclyst. With it, she can transform any Daedra into a powerful incarnate. A living disaster. She even tried to use the machine on me. These in we learned that Sister Seldina tried to use the votive runes to steal power from the mortals. Power she hoped would destroy the Daedra and allow her to conquer Fargrave. We stopped that plot. But this realm's many portals are too enticing to ignore. They are persistent, if nothing else, these Dagonists. If they truly want to unleash their incarnates on Nurn, using Fargrave's portals makes the most sense. The hope, slender though it may be, is that the encoded note will tell us more. I'll meet you at the House of Wims. I can help with the negotiations. of walking anyway. Oh no, it is new motifs. I hope you're not the sort to interrupt those busier than you for no reason. Well, I don't have much time. Out with it. I am not shocked by this news. Mortals do not always know when to bank away. This makes them exceptional employees, but does decrease their already limited longevity. You said you have the gem he was sent to retrieve? That's the trouble with mortals. Many don't have the experience to survive on the flames. Here, someone should have the gold that was set aside for Robier. 
I employed a few prospective creatures to retrieve more of these plain stones, but given how you discovered the last creature I sent, I do not have high hopes. If you come across more ill-fated employees, please bring the plain stones to me. More sticker book. Let's see, what are the new sets that came out? Deadlands. One, two, three. Three sets. Okay, cool. Why, Lirith, my dear, it would be an honor to assist you in any way I can. An honor, yes. Mortal, show Wim the note. Oh, darling. How good of you to once again grace my fine establishment. And I see that my information proved useful. You found Lyrinth. Another customer, satisfied and content. Now, what can Madame Wim do for you this time? While I have many, many talents, deciphering written codes concocted by fanatical mortals is not among them. Are you sure I can't interest you in something a little more luscious? No? Pity. Very well. I may know someone who can help you. You wound me. I thought we were becoming friends. Talk to Gazmod the Collector. His villa on the west side of town contains quite the accumulation of Dagonic paraphernalia. Something in his collection should help, provided you can catch his eye. You owe absolutely nothing, my darling. Lirinth agreed to cover your cost for this bit of inside information. Isn't she a dear? Now, do tell Gazmod that we miss them here at the House of Whims. The place hasn't been the same without them. Oh, don't concern yourself with that, dearest one. I never ask for more than a client can afford. There's no profit in that. When you have time, come back and let Madam Whim show you some of the wares that have made her the talk of oblivion. Go downstairs and rouse the anchorite. We'll want her with us when we talk to this collector. Meanwhile, I need to conclude Was Madam our Wim business helpful? here. Grab a drink conclude and tell me business. all about it. How I, love I know sound. I said I was going to help with the negotiations, but look, I don't want to talk about it. Some things are private, personal. You can't just walk up and demand I tell you my deepest, darkest secrets. Ugh, sorry. I agreed to talk about my name, my mask, everything. After you proved yourself, and you've certainly... When we first met, you asked about my name. Madame Wim gave it to me. I just arrived in Fargrave, and everything before that exact moment was... gone. All I had was this mask. I didn't know who I was, or where I came from. Still don't. Just one of Madame Wim's little jokes means I'm a recluse, a hermit, living a life of seclusion behind a mask I can't remove. Sometimes, sometimes it feels like memories are stirring deep inside my mind. When that happens, I need a distraction. Because it feels like there's a war raging inside my skull, a war I can't win. Better to drink or, or whatever. Push them back down to stop the pain behind my eyes. That's my story. At least as much as I know. Now, tell me what Madame Wim said. I've heard of the Collector. As a villa on the west side of the city. Never met them personally, but I assume they're some sort of Daedra. Makes sense considering their influence and where they live. I'll meet you there. I'll finish this and meet you at the Collector's villa. It's on the west side, in a neighborhood that's strictly Daedric. So be careful, and watch your step until I get there. Where else was I to go? I assumed I awoke in Fargrave for a reason. I stayed to find that reason. And to see if whoever left me here would one day return. Regardless, the city and its people quickly captured my heart. Especially the mortals. Another label assigned by Madame Wim. Stay in her orbit long enough, and you'll collect a dozen appellations. I can't stand to see anyone go hungry or be taken advantage of. I try to help and don't ask anything in return. Wim sees that as a weakness. 
bits and pieces, but when the memories stir, the pain kicks in. If I try to focus on them, actually make sense of them, the mask burns. It hurts me, like it doesn't want me to remember. Someday, I'll look into those blank spaces, but not today. Time to go, little mortals. cool as this town is, it's actually kind of confusing. Um... No, we go this way, I think. Are these just like, oh yeah, daily jobs? Okay. Doing dailies in this game, dude. This mask, it intrigues. It must become a part of Gazmod's collection. Um, friend, why don't you talk to the collector? No, I'm good. It approaches. It dares speak. Will it offer the mass to compensate for such insults? It invokes Madame Wim. Wants what belongs to Gazmod and Gazmod alone. It is presumptuous. Leave our gaze. Gazmod no longer wants to look upon it. I meant no insult by having my mortal speak to you, Collector. We merely seek to borrow a Dagonic Codebreaker. Since you're clearly interested, I'll allow you to examine my mask. No, the Aerox must not leave the gallery. But Gazmod will peer at its mask. This way, mask wearer. Come, little mortal. We must find the Aerox. Perhaps the gallery is beyond that door. The collector lets slip that Ooh, they have a Ooh, that's cool. I would love to have a house we furnishing like that. It. it appears not all of Gazmod's collection consists of relics. Yes, he has dangerous it plants that are out to get you. Our collection. Does it not know we see through many eyes? I'm still here. Thanks for asking. is as dangerous as it is beautiful. Perhaps the Dagonic relics lie beyond... This gallery contains but a single display. See what it is. Few things that walk the Deadlands can hear the name of Aerox, the Mutilator, and not soil themselves. Freedom at long last! Aerox owes you for this kind indulgence. You have set Aerox free. Free! Aerox owes you a debt of honor, and Aerox will pay it, no matter how long it takes. You have my word. But pray tell, who do I owe this enormous debt of gratitude to? Question not this pitiable form, mortal. 
For within it beats the heart of the terror of the Deadlands, the Sunderer of the Seven Skies, and the Warrior of the Floating Wastes. I am Arox the Mutilator! Man talks like an anime villain. Oh my god. <laughs> Take any codes. Easy as ripping the ears off a Bainkin. Arox is fluent in the many tongues of the Deadlands. No code can hide its meaning from the mutilator's eyes. Speaking of eyes, we should leave this place before the collector looks this way. I have already pledged to honor my debt to you. I will decipher every scroll in the tower of Lord Dagon's Viscount Scrivener, if that is what you desire. I swear my fealty to you, mortal master. My life and my skills are yours to command. With pleasure, mortal master. Yeah, it's just endless doors and tunnels. Master. And I found the encoded note. I will work on translating it forthwith. We have a day draft. Wonderful. Now let's find the anchorite and depart this place. Hey, a little as glad as I am to see you. Can we do more rescuing and less talking right now? I think if you shatter that. Thanks. Let's get out of here and return to Madame Wims. Uh-oh, are we about to crash again because we're trying to port out from here? Oh, let's, we'll find out. Luckily, we're in a more or less safe zone. <laughs> 